welcome back, Pios. Thanks for tuning in. I had a great three-day weekend. How about you guys? Actually, Katie, how was your three-day weekend? Katie? Hey, Katie, what are you doing? John, get out of the way. You're using my light. Um, but you do know we got a show going on, right? Well, you know, I'm just trying to look special for someone. Ugh, um, the, what? Ew, no, not you. Steven. Steven? Steven, run! Anyway, Pios, how much does a polar bear weigh? Enough to break the ice, but it's... Okay, speaking of breaking the ice, how are you doing, Pios? Welcome to episode 18 of the Pioneer Press. Yep, Valentine's Day is over, and we hope you guys had a great one. Sadly, some people are still waiting to ask people to do their Valentine, right, Steven? Anyway, let's get this show on the road. I'm John. And I'm Katie. And, and this, this is the Pioneer, Pioneer Press. Press. Katie, did you have a date for Valentine's Day? No, a certain someone is taking quite a while to ask me. <laughs> well, Katie, I hope he doesn't keep you waiting. Because there's this guy. Steven, roll it. Oh man, my second period teacher, he's like really sinks out of my nerves. Um, history, right? Yeah, it's like really hard now. Anyway, how's your day? Didn't you have a math test? <laughs> yeah, um, I think I kind of failed that. Well, there's no way you failed. I think you got an A. Anyway, I have to ask you something. I need you to promise to say yes the next thing I ask you. <laughs> it depends on what it is. Well, you're always so nice to me, and you always try to help me out whenever you can. I remember this one time in kindergarten, when I fell off the swings and you helped me up. Uh, it's nothing against you, but it's really hard for me to say this. It means a whole lot to me, and I really hope it means a whole lot to you too, but... I forgot my pencil at home, and I have a test next period. Can I borrow one? What? I mean, I, I guess. Here you go. Thanks. Tuck it, Kim, tuck it. I'm tucking, I'm tucking. Thanks, dude. You're the best. Is he really that dense? I thought he was going to ask me to use Valentine or something, but he just asked for a pencil. That was really random. Oh, yeah, sorry. I forgot to ask. Oh, I knew it. Nobody's that clueless. Do you have paper, too? Paper? Steel sleep. Paper? Uh, yeah. Uh, um, here you go. Thanks. I wonder how Joel did on his test. I hope I can catch him to get my pencil back. I'm walking to school today. Confession? I actually never needed that pencil. <laughs> That stinks that he kept her waiting so long, but at least he asked her in the end. <laughs> yeah, let's hope they live happily ever after. And that they don't plan any dates on February 20th. Um, why? What's going on on the 20th, Katie? One of our very own alumni is coming to speak to you. Oh, are you talking about that guy who won the Nobel Prize? Yep, Randy Sheckman. Hey, John, you really need to fix your hair. <laughs> Shh, I don't need no correcting. Hey, I'm just helping you. Okay, well, speaking of people who does help us out, I want to take a bit of our time to thank our wonderful tape roller, Steven. <laughs> you can't bring Steven into this. The other piles don't even know who he is. Well, you kind of have to change that. So let's do it. Steven, time for you to shine, bud. Roll it. Steven, roll the clip. Steve-o, you know what's up, dude. Roll it. Oh. Steven, roll the clip. Stevers, roll that tape. Steven, can you roll that clip, please? Just, just roll it. Steven, roll the clip. Steven, roll the clip. Steven! Steven, now you see you again, bud. Roll the tape. Steven! 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 Stevie Boo, you know what to do. Oh my god. Oh my god. Steven. It's Steven. Steven. It's Steven. Yeah. Steven. He's like, he's perfect. Yeah. Like, oh my god. Definition a, of perfection. Yeah, I can't have it. It's like, he. Who? I don't know much about Steven. 
but from what the history books say, he was born a regular human being. Oh no, I've never met Steven, but I heard he's a pretty small guy. Uh, Steven? Oh, okay, Steven, right? He did this one thing, right? And in fact, this one thing like way over yonder, right? And he just like, oh my gosh, and he just flew out of nowhere. I was like, I'm Steven. He saved everyone in that building. By far, he is my hero. Is the epitome of perfection, yeah. guys. You know, one time like, he says, like, oh, oh my god. god. He just said hi, but I swear there was no, fireworks. Yeah. Really? And I'm like, oh my god, you're Steven. And I was like, mm, mm, mm. he's like, mm. and he's like punching the air and like all the monsters and everything, they're flying all over the place. And it's like, that was, uh, I blacked, uh, I don't really remember much after that. Yeah. Oh my god, you guys, yeah. it's Steven. Yeah. Steven's the best. Yeah, he's perfect. Yes. See, he loves Steven. He loves Steven. You guys forgot to show his beautiful face. That's the best part. Duh. Well, you know what I love, Katie? Aw, uh, me? Um, no. But it does start with letter K. I love kids. Well, John, did you know Ms. McDaniel offers two courses that involve learning and working with kids? Oh, right. I know some info, but what about our other Pios? Well, lucky for them, we have a spotlight. Steven, roll it. Hi, I'm Kristen McDaniel. I teach two ROP classes on our campus, ROP Child Development and ROP Principles of Teaching and Learning. I think what makes my classes unique is that <laughs> students have an opportunity to actually learn in a hands-on way, and this is true of most of your ROP classes. We also have an opportunity to explore different careers in the field. So for my teaching class, my students actually go out to three elementary schools three days a week and work with children at the schools, try out teaching. And that's a wonderful opportunity for them to gain experience while they're still in high school. And for my child development class, we really are a project-oriented class. If you look around the room, we're constantly creating in here, which is a little bit like childhood, so that's fun. But also learning all about what it's like to care for children and careers with them in a hands-on way. You've seen the Real Care Babies on campus and they are a lot of fun. There's more to our class than that, but it definitely is a highlight, I think, for students. Hi, my name is Jennifer Forrest and I am in Miss McDaniel's Child Development class. Hi, my name is Alyssa Hernandez and I'm in Child Development. Hey, my name is Abraham Borges and I'm in Child Development. For my future career, I would love to be a kindergarten teacher, so I thought this class would really help me learn a lot about kids. So a class that is taking a baby home and learning about actual ways of being a parent. It'll help me a lot, especially when I'm a parent, because it teaches me how to take care of a child and what to do when no one else is around. Any career working with children, and there are hundreds and hundreds of careers um, in education, but not just teacher or administrator, perhaps um, daycare, um, nursing, working with children, pediatric oncology, anybody, children's librarian, anybody that wants to work with children in their future or become a parent, would benefit from my classes. Some final thoughts, if you want to work with children in your future, have children in your future, you definitely should sign up for ROP Child Development. If you are considering becoming a teacher, you definitely want to be a member of the Principles of Teaching and Learning class next year so you can try out teaching and see if it's a good career before you move on to college. Thank you so much, hope to see you next year in my classes. Wow, those classes look like so much fun. Registration is coming up and look for these classes in your class catalog. Speaking of registration piles, we're looking to fill our arts, media, and entertainment pathway as well. Yep, there's so many classes for you to join. We have digital animation, video production, graphics communication, digital media, music, and tech, and of course, this class, broadcast. This stuff is so much fun, Piles. Hey, John, don't forget that we're adding accounting, marketing, and business administration classes next year. This will be especially useful for those of you who would like to run your own business or get into incredibly high-paying jobs in banking, finance, and entrepreneurships. A lot of these classes also fulfill our A through G requirements, so students who are looking for a cool creative outlet for getting F requirement for UCs, look no further. And of course, just like child development and principles of teaching and learning, if you complete the required courses, you will earn cards for graduation. This is an awesome way to set yourself apart. If you're interested in any of these classes, come see Mr. Olmedo in room 74 for more information. Yep, they're great and super fun. I know, right? Totally. 
Okay. Um, save that for another time. It's time to wrap up this episode. Oh, right. So if you guys want to watch this episode or any of our previous episodes, take a ride on the love boat to westerndcc.org. Make sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Like us on Facebook. And hit that subscribe button on YouTube. I'm John. And I'm Katie. Stay classy, classy pioneers. pioneers. Bravo, Bravo out. out. Oh my god, see you then. So cute. Yeah. Even better than Justin Bieber. Like, I can't. The way he rolls the tape, like, no. The other day, he said hi to me. I swear to him. Yeah, I stole a lock of his hair. Um, no, you didn't. He wasn't looking. Whatever, he's mine, and we're gonna be together forever.